pass, but the table is still set here inside Walsh Gymnasium. Seton Hall will welcome Louisville to the Prudential Center at noon, but before we have Morning Madness, here live from inside historic Walsh Gymnasium, Dagan Hughes, Rich Behan joining you from the set. And Rich, how yep. about this turnout from the amazing. fans? Amazing, absolutely amazing. You guys are great. Nothing better, nothing better. Fantastic turnout from the fans, but let's jump right into it. The matchup tonight, Seton Hall versus Louisville. And Seton Hall, there's two games against Nebraska, St. Louis. They bounce back this past weekend in, in at the Thanksgiving tournament, the win legacy. Miles Powell, outstanding tournament for them, but three, huge win for the Pirates. They did. After those two losses, I feel like everybody panicked a little bit too much. This team is, you know, you got to get into the flow of the season. A lot of guys that, you know, transfers. A lot of Torian Thompsons, a lot of Quincy McKnights. So once they get into the flow of the game, they were great in the Wooden Legacy Tournament. Obviously, GCU, Miles Powell with the tremendous performance, and then they went on to the Hawaii game, and then eventually the Miami game, and they looked great, and they looked to keep that role today versus Louisville. Yeah, and you guys stepped up. Mike Enzi, as <laughs> this crowd's still getting going here, but Mike Enzi stepped up yeah. for this team, as well as Quincy McKnight in that last game against Miami. We're gonna look for those guys a lot today. Uh, in this game against Louisville, a big matchup for the Pirates. Definitely, and the Pirates need to establish a, a pressure down low, and I think that's where Mike Enzi factors in. Okay, he's a big body, he can get down. Obviously, he could do it offensively because he's dro he dropped 21 points in the game, the last game. So he can do it. It's just that, you know, now the Pirates need to focus in on getting that pressure down low. Now moving to Louisville, Chris Mack, Obviously, people know who Chris Mack is in the Big East. Yeah, bo yes, boo! We don't like Chris Mack, no! Obviously, we know who Chris Mack is in the Big East because he was with Xavier. Chris Mack holds a 6-7 and seven record against uh, Pirate teams. So, and only one, in f only, one in, well, only one in four in Newark, though. So we're good, we're good. All day long, we're good. Coach Willard, these, these guys know each other very well. The game plan today will be ideal for the Pirates. And I'm gonna send it over now to Dagan. Thank you guys, thank you. Guys, we're gonna take it to the court now. We're getting right into things. We're gonna do the 50,000 series shot contest presented by Addison Partners. We're joined now by our winner, Pete's, Pete DeSantis. Pete, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm ready to win 50K. All right, all right, he's ready to fin the 50K. It wasn't, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's go, let's get it going for him, guys. Come on, come on. All right, so here's how it's gonna work, Pete. So you're gonna have 25 seconds. You gotta make a layup, a free throw, a three-point shot, and a half-court shot. No rebounder, so, so you, you, gotta, you gotta make your shots. But anyway, when the time will start. You gotta take a, a, a dribble first before your layup. So whenever you're ready, let's get after it. Let's go! Let's get it for him, guys, come on, let's go. Hold on here, we're gonna get going here. We good? All right, on you, Pete. Layup, no problem. No problem on the layup. We go to the free throw. No problem. Let's take the three. Let's go, Pete. 15 seconds. Oh, a little help in the pirate. Seven seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. And that's it. Hey, let's hear it for him. Come on. My guy. Hey, great job, man. And thank you for thank you for coming out, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, we're gonna be back here with more on Morning Madness within just a little bit. Uh, stay tuned. As one of America's leading Catholic universities, Seton Hall is creating graduates who are ready for anything. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to work in the ICU. To work in the big leagues. To be a leader. To teach special ed. To make my mark. To volunteer in Micronesia. To improve health around the world. To get my master's. I'm ready to make a difference. To spread smiles. To help others. I'm ready for anything. Seton Hall, imagine what great minds can do. Definition of a champion, definition of a champion. Madison Square Garden, name another place better for the Big East to take place other than the mecca from the players on the court to the chance in the stands. This the origin of greatness, birthplace of the champions. I'm always a winner, even if I fall, I can still get bigger. The definition of a champion, definition of a champion. The Big East tournament at Madison Square Garden. Get tickets.
joining you. And we are now joined by assistant coach Grant Billmar. Grant, how are you doing today? Doing good. How about yourself? Doing well. I'm a fan okay. coming out. It, it, it's great to hear the crowd like this. Obviously, we expect them to rock the Prudential Center all night long today. And how much is it just support like this from these kind of fans mean to you guys? It, they're, they're great. You know, when, when, they, when they get into it, our, our players feed off their energy and vice versa. But we know we're going to have one of the best six fans in the country today with our fans. Coach, uh, let, let's, get in, let's get into one legacy. You guys came off that loss to St. Louis. Went out to California, got the job done, three games, three fantastic games for you guys, and came back with a championship. What, what was that like for your team? It, it, it was a great uh, stepping stone for us. You know, ha having lost to a really good and tough St. Louis team, we kind of went away to California. We kind of found our identity. We really started clicking. We got a lot better offensively, defensively. And in a span where you got to play three games in four days, you see our toughness factor. In a game against Miami, everyone really stepped up and brought their A game. And that's what we needed to beat, you know, a top ACC team. I have to ask, you know, you, you expect the offensive production from Miles Powell, but when Mike Enzi goes out, puts up 21 points, what does that do for the team? It, it, it really helps. When you, whenever you can get a major interior presence in, like the lift Mike gave us in the Miami game, that certainly goes a long way. It takes a lot of pressure off everyone, and whenever you, you can play inside-out basketball a little bit, it, it certainly goes a long way. Obviously, we did a lot of that last year and the last few years with Angel, but not having him go on and having an in, interior presence like the one Mike gave us on Sunday was, was huge for us. And talking about that Miami game and, and working the ball inside, you guys had 56 points in the paint. You know, we know you guys can shoot the three, but what happens when you can get that many points inside the paint? There's nice easy buckets around the basket. It, it, it certainly loosens things up for the perimeter for guys like Miles Powell, Miles Kale, Quincy, uh, Jared Roden, di different guys on a perimeter. Whenever you can play inside out basketball, it just makes the threes much more difficult as opposed to when you're just going from wing to wing or guard to guard. But whenever you can get the ball in the paint, certainly good things happen for us. Quincy McKnight started out a, a bit slow, some people would say. What has contributed to the pickup in his game so far? You know, I, ju I just think it, when, whenever you have to sit out, you know, you obviously get a chance to practice every day, but when you get to start playing games, it's a different thing. And, you know, having not played a game in over two years, it's, it takes a little bit of time to get that ga game rhythm back. And, you know, it, it took him a game or two, but we, we, we love the way he's playing. He's, a, you know, one of the hardest workers we have in the program. So he's playing extremely well right now. We, we need a big game from him today. And coach, not only a win on the court for you guys um, out, out in California, but you guys also came in with a couple of new recruits. Two new recruits for you guys. What are these guys bringing to the team? You know, Deshaun Davis is a, is a typical New York City kid. Uh, can play either guard position, r really defends at a high level, just the, an extremely competitive kid and can, kind of fits w w the, along with the rest of the guards that we brought in over from New York City. And we're extremely excited for, 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 to add him. He's extremely excited to be here. We, we know him very well and he knows us very well. And, you know, I don't think anyone was more excited than Jared Roden to add his former high school teammate. And Tyree Samuels is a kid that's 6'8", 6'9", um, can shoot the ball, can drive the ball, plays above the rim. Uh, he's, he, he's a human highlight film, and he's, he's going to be a terrific player for us. And we're, we're really excited to add him, and he's, he's really going to help our front court for, for the next few years coming up. Now, just talking about the game today against Louisville, obviously, what is, what's the game plan going into the game? Working the ball down low, you know, swinging it around the top. What's the game plan going into? You the know, game? I, I think when you, whenever you whenever you prepare to play against a Chris Mack team, it, it's a lot of things that go into the preparation because he doesn't just do one thing well. He, he's very good offensively, and he has a lot of different sets that you really have to you know talk about and strategic how you're going to defend them. And, and then defensively, he plays a pack line defense, and you know he makes it really difficult to get in the paint and score. And the, his teams always play extremely physical and hard, and they have a certain DNA that. You know, they played at Xavier, and you could see it coming together for them at Louisville. So it, it's, it's a team you got to prepare for on both ends of the court. And, you know, they're playing really well right now. They, they played in Brooklyn last week, and they played against a very good Tennessee team, and they took Marquette, one of the top teams in our league, to overtime, and then they just beat a top 10 Michigan State team. So they're coming in this game with a lot of momentum, just like us, and we, we know it's going to be an extremely competitive game from start to finish. And going off what you just said there, Coach, how, how do you kind of prepare for a team like Louisville they're coming off of a, of a huge win against Michigan State? How do you kind of come back and, you know, kind of get your team ready for, you know, this team's going to off a great win. Yep. What do you guys got to do to prepare for that? Well, I, I think we prepare for every team the same way. You know, we spend a ton of time w w watching film on our opponents, really knowing their personnel. Um, obviously, Jordan Noor and Ryan McMahon are two terrific shooters that shot the ball very well against Michigan State. And, you know, it, it's, it's a big personnel game, knowing who, who's, you know, a shooter, who's a driver, and how you got to play them based off closeouts. And, um, you know, we, we, we spent three days really hard preparing for them and their sets and their personnel and underneath out of bounds and how they're going to play us defensively. And then you just got to hope guys go out and follow the game plan. And obviously making some shots early helps and loosens things up. 
One of my keys for today's game is, uh, game is stopping Stephen Enoch down low. Who do, you, who do you think needs to step up and be that force down low for the team? You know, I think it's going to be a multiple, a few different guys. Um, he, he's obviously a force. You know, we're lucky, we're lucky we have Ike Obiago, uh, a 7-foot, 260-pound guy that can kind of emulate his body and his strength down low. So, you know, we, we put Ike in that position to emulate Stephen Enoch over the last few days, which is a good representation. And then, you know, it, it, it starts with our guard making – you know, difficult for the guards to just throw it inside the Enosh. And then obviously Sandro and Mike, they're, you know, they're going to be on them early in the game. And you just got to be physical and try, try and do your work early as much as possible with Enosh and try and battle with them. But, we're, you know, we're going to try and throw multiple people on him, not, not to allow him to get off. And, Coach, let's just get you one last question here. What, what you guys got to do to stop uh, Jordan War on, uh, for Louisville? Uh, obviously, he's a terrific shooter. He's someone you really got to find, you know, especially in transition. You can't get lost, and you'll get so caught up watching the basketball. And next thing you know, Noir or McMahon or Sutton are, are, are banging threes. So you, 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 those guys, obviously, transition basketball is a big thing. And the half court, just, you know, not, not leaving them, just, just, you know, not giving them a whole lot of space. Um, just keep keeping a high hand, trying to make, all, you know, he, he's going to take some threes. He's going to make some threes. But the ones he does take and make, you just got to make sure they're all challenged. Coach, thank you so much for joining us on the set today. We're going to head to a commercial break, but how about we get these fans riled up going to the break? Let's go, Let's go Pirate Nation. Let's go. Let's go. 12 o'clock Prudential Center. That's right. <laughs> Definition of a champion. Definition of a champion. Madison Square Garden. Name another place better for the big East to take place. Other than the mecca from the players on the court to the chance in the stands. This the orange and the greatness, birthplace of the champions. I'm always a winner, even if I fall, I can still get bigger. The definition of a champion, definition of a champion. The Big East Tournament at Madison Square Garden. Get tickets now. I want you to play with some joy, man. We're here. You know what we are? We're winners. Everything counts. We got to keep doing the right thing. Inside. Ah! We got to be gritty defensively. What a defensive play. Gritty offensively. Let it fly. Yeah. It's amazing. The Big East Tournament at Madison Square Garden. Get tickets now. Today, but we're going to throw it back to last year, last year's game against Louisville in Louisville. What a great game that was! It was 79 to 77. Pirates came away with the win. Desi Rodriguez hit a shot late after 37 minutes played. He had 29 total points in the game. Kadeem Carrington also showed out as well with 18. And Miles Powell, of course, had 13, but he'll look, of course, to step that up today. Miles Kale also had two points. He only played 12 minutes. Ishmael Sonogo, that was a force down low. The Pirates will, of course, need today as well. He had six points in 20 minutes. It was a great, who watched the game last year? It was great, right? Gonna get even better game today at The Rock. But for now, we're gonna send it over to Dagan Hughes. Thanks, Rich. We're back with more contests. We're giving away a ton of money today. Sadly, Pete couldn't win the 50000 but now Jen Walpow is going to try to win the $10,000 from the half-court shot. Oh, we got the Pirate joining us over here. Jen, how are you doing today? Fantastic. All right, so here's how it's going to work. You get one shot from behind the three-point line. You make it, $10,000 is yours. How's that sound? Not going to make it. Well, you never know. You never know. You never know. So, again, when you do make it, because you're going to make it, when you make it, what are you going to do with the $10,000 when you make it? Hey, I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. Well, again, you get one shot from behind the three-point, or excuse me, the half-court line. Whenever you're ready. Come on. Let's get loud. Yeah, here we go. Running start. That's good. Don't trip on any of the wires. <laughs> go ahead. Whenever you're ready. Here we go. That's all right. Here, Jen, bring it back over. Bring it back over. That's all right. That's all right. We appreciate you coming out today. We appreciate you, we appreciate you taking the shot. But for, thank you again. Thank you for coming out. Thanks for all the fans. Uh, you excited for today's game? Excited. I'm pumped. Everybody seems to be pumping here. Come on, crowd. Let's hear it for her. One more time for Jen. 
Jen, thank you for coming out. We appreciate it. Uh, and again, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Now we're going to send it back over to Rich with our top five plays from the men's basketball season so far this year. Rich? Thank you, Jake. And I, I usually don't do this live, but we're going to do it live today. Number five, Torian Thompson throws it down against Miami in the championship win. They won 83-81. to 81. Number four, Mike Enzi, eight of eight from the field versus Miami again in that championship game, 83 to 81. He absolutely stuffed the stat sheet with his 21 points and his four rebounds. You see the dunk right there, Mike Enzi, a force down low, gonna look obviously to do that again today. The down, Mike Enzi down low, of course. Again, number three. Gonna get to Miles Kale here in a second. Miles Powell with the steal. The Miles to Miles connection. He th ended the game in style against GCU. We'll take another look at that one right there. The Pirates came away with the win, 82 to 75. Those were Kale's two of eight points. Number two, Miles Powell, who else? He dropped 40 in the game against GCU, an 82 to 75 win, 12 of 16 from the floor, and five of seven from behind the arc. Miles Powell absolutely on fire and doing it all against GCU in the Wooden Legacy Tournament. You see the drive right there and the layup. Miles Powell does it all from the three, driving in, laying it up. Yeah, get loud for Miles Powell. We a force to be reckoned with, and he will look again, obviously, to do that today. And of course, number one, what else are we gonna do for number one? The Wooden Legacy Championship celebration. The team got the win against Miami, 83 to 81, and they deserve this celebration. Yeah, Torian, look at that trophy. And Coach Willard probably would have opted for a poncho if he had one, but uh, I, I don't think he did. So he got the water bath after the game. And that's our top five plays for the first half of the season. Been a ton of great moments so far this season. Seton Hall makes, hopes to make a couple more tonight and oh, throughout think, the rest I of the year. I think they will. Uh, so do I. I. Think they will. So do I. Well, we'll have to find out our, our picks a little bit later in, yeah. in the show. We'll, 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 a little we'll bit get later. There. Uh, but anyway, Rich, we, we talked a lot about it, and we talked about the game tonight and, and what this means. Mm -hmm. We talked about the comparison between Coach Mack and Coach Willard. They've played a, a ton against each other uh, while, while, of course, Mack was at Xavier and, of course, Coach Willard at Seton Hall. And, and they've had a, a really – they've played each other a ton of times and they've had a ton of matchups together. Yeah, they have. And Chris Mack has – he said in a press conference, he said, listen, we're going to use a lot of different looks because the Pirates use a lot of different looks defensively. Uh, you know, a 2-3 man zone or a 1-3-1 one, one variation, traditional man, man-to-man -man defense. So it's, it's going to be a great game for the Pirates. These – the, it'll be a tight game, just because these coaches know each other so well. It'll be a tight game, tight down the finish. And of course, everybody likes to talk about how Coach Wood and Coach Mack look alike. Yeah, but they have that. a lot of the coaching similarities yeah. as well. Of course, Mack winning four of the last six meetings yeah. against uh, Coach Willard, but uh, Coach Willard leads the all-time series six to five. So we'll see how that goes uh, tonight. And of course, you know, you, you talk about th this game as well. And we already talked a lot about it. Powell's going to be scoring for Seton Hall, but they still need that secondary score. We saw from Enzi McKnight in the one legacy tournament. It was, it was about time somebody stepped up for this team. Listen, you're going to get your production from Miles Powell, obviously. But now what you have to look at is you have to get a force down low, and that's why I asked Coach what I asked. Because, you know, it, you, you lose Ishinogo, obviously. You lose Angel Delgado. You have to replace that. So now who's going to step up? Sandro, I think, has done a tremendous job down low. I also think, of course, Mike Enzi has stepped up as well. A key to today's game will be, of course, getting a presence down low, getting a strong defensive presence down low, and that will go a long way for the Pirates today. Yeah, and we, we want to talk beyond this game a little bit. Seton Hall's upcoming schedule, uh, of course, after Louisville today at noon, they take on New Hampshire on December 4th. Then they can travel to MSG to take on Kentucky, and then they go to... There it is. And then they come back home to the Prudential Center to take on Rutgers. So, again, this team, they have some big, big games coming up and, and a couple of opportunities to get some really good wins. Yeah, and Coach Willard knows he's scheduled tough. He knows that. This is one of the toughest schedules you'll find probably in college basketball. Okay, this is a team that they, they don't feel like they have something to prove, but, you know, you lose four seniors, you know, you step in, you say, okay, you know, 
maybe we do have something to prove. Who's going to step up for this team and who's going to do everything outside of that? And we have one quick thing before we send it to break. Rich, we did a little promo video earlier yeah. in the week. Yes, we did. And you did, said you guys, did you guys see the promo on, on, on Twitter? Did everybody see the promo on With Twitter? With my beautiful tie? Yes. Cool. Now, cool. Rich, you did say if we got 500 people here, this was off, of course, not in the video, but you yeah. did say if we got 500 people here, you would shake everybody's hand, show everybody's, shake everybody's hand individually. I did. I well, let's, let's take a look at the video. If there's 500 people here, I will personally Animal. say hello. To I will shake everybody's hand if there's 500 people there. Well, right, I, I don't know about you guys, but I think there's 500 people here. I don't know about that. So, Rich. I have to say. Rich, we, we, our, our stage manager yeah. has brought you a lot of hand sanitizer. I have to say, you guys really showed out today. We appreciate this so much. You guys are the best fans in the Big East, no doubt. No doubt. I am not, listen, if things happen. I might yes. be one and eight. Things happen. I right? like that sign. Thank you guys so much for coming out. We're going to send you a quick commercial break. Rich, get to shaking hands. Yeah. As one of America's leading Catholic universities, Seton Hall is creating graduates who are ready for anything. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to work in the ICU. To work in the big leagues. To be a leader. To teach special ed. To make my mark. To volunteer in Micronesia. To improve health around the world to get my master's. I'm ready to make a difference. To spread smiles. To help others. I'm ready for anything. Seton Hall, imagine what great minds can do. Big East is about toughness. Part of us are losers thick. Where everybody has a role in this pursuit to win. All about fight and confidence. Persistence for providence to give some players to try the door from novice to prominent. Doing whatever it takes. That's the Big East way. Tickets on sale November 27th. Hello, everybody, and welcome back inside Historic Walsh Gymnasium. We talked about it already. We love giving away money here on Morning Madness. We keep it up. We welcome our MC, Vince, to the set. Vince, thank you for joining us today. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much to our pet band. Now I need to know, folks, who in here is trying to win themselves a year's worth of free tuition? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right here. I am spinning this bucket right here. Now, check this out, guys. On behalf of our friends at Addison Partners, we have a three-quarter shot that is going to be taking place at the Prudential Center later on today at the game. I'm going to pick this ticket right now and see who's going to win themselves a year's worth of free tuition at the wonderful Seton Hall University. Now, the number is 331-6304. Three, three, one, six, three, zero, four. You're gonna be taking a shot at The Rock later on. Right Thank you to our friends at Addison Partners. Make sure you come on down so we can get your information. Now, also just for being here today at the wonderful Morning Madness, we also have a thousand dollars for somebody in here. Who wants to win a thousand dollars? Once again, from our friends at Addison Partners, I'm gonna shake this thing up one time. I'm gonna spin it, I'm gonna open it back up for $1,000 just for being here at Morning Madness, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, the number is 331-6510. 331-6510. Who's got it, who's got it? Somebody just won themselves $1,000 just for supporting their pirates here at Morning Madness. Nobody's got it. They said pick another one. Pick another one. All right, I'm putting that to the side. Put it to the side. Can't get it. Can't get it. I'm gonna grab it quick. Real quick, real quick. It's a pink ticket. 792 734. 792 734. Make some noise for this guy right here, y'all. Give it up for him, y'all. And that, go, Pirates. Thank you very much, Vince. We're gonna send to a quick break. We come back. We have a special guest joining us on set. We'll be back with more from Morning Madness. Definition of a champion, definition of a champion. Madison Square Garden, name another place better for the Big East to take place. Other than the Mecca, from the players on the court to the chance in the stands. This the origin of greatness, birthplace of the champions. The Big East tournament at Madison Square Garden. Get tickets now.
and we are back now joined with a special guest on set, Coach Bill Raftery. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm not used to being uh, on air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's for me. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Coach, thank you for joining us. Of course, you're back at Seton Hall, back inside Walsh Gymnasium. Of course, you coached here. What's it like being back? Unbelievable. Same enthusiasm. We'll carry this over this afternoon. They're certainly going to enjoy it and need it because uh, it's going to be a very competitive. Two teams that have gotten better in the last two weeks. So we're looking forward to a great one. Hopefully you are as well. Now, obviously, you're calling the game today, so you have to be a little bit impartial. But i got to ask you, you're tied with Coach Willard now for wins. Well, How does that make you feel? Uh, <laughs> he's done it in half the time, though. That's a big difference. But, uh, no, it was quite a thrill. I see Richie Regan's name up here, who is our athletic director and former coach. And uh, we're sort of proud of the alums of coaches here. You know, you think of all the great names. Of course, George Blaney comes to mind and Tommy Emmerker. And what I, what I love about Kevin, of course, PJ's great run, nobody can forget that, but what's unbelievable about what Kevin Willard's been able to do, it, it's people don't like playing seat in the hall. And the reason is there's a toughness about the kids that they have, and he seems to get it out of them. So they're competitive, they're talented, and they know how to win. So uh, the most important thing I think anymore is the support at home. Uh, if you don't protect your home court, uh, it's very difficult to make the NCAA tournament. So your enthusiasm, although you might think it's just, well, I like basketball, it's essential to be part of the program with uh, bringing that spirit each and every game. All right. and, and, of course, Coach, this, this game today, Seton Hall coming off of their three wins out in Fullerton, California, the one legacy. Louisville coming off a huge win against Michigan State. What are your keys tonight, to tonight's game for both sides? Uh, you know, the interesting part of it, they've both gotten better defensively. And I, and I guess when you say that, I think it's little things like loose balls. But more importantly, Louisville is incredible at getting to the free throw line. Uh, so it's very important that you don't foul them. And conversely, you get more opportunities or at least be competitive in that area. Uh, those small change items end up being major reasons you either win or lose the game. Coach, probably the easiest question I'll ask you all day. What's your favorite catch line? The catch? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll it's have gotta one. be onions, right? No, I'll have one more. Okay. That's, good, that's, Go ahead. that's late at night usually, you know? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> All right, so you have, you have a couple players to watch today. We're going to start with Louisville and Jordan and Wara. Uh, well, you know, the biggest thing with them is they've got a low post presence now. Uh, I don't think they've had that for a few years. Uh, Enoch comes in from Connecticut, and I've seen him grow each and every game from Tennessee and Marquette to some of those softer type games. and. Uh, I think how you guard him becomes, uh, you know, essential. And, and obviously, Powell is such a great player. Uh, the biggest thing for him is to make sure he takes good shots uh, because they will be all over him. You know, they've scouted. They've seen the different things that they run. But watching Kevin's practice on Thursday, there's some wrinkles to get him free that he's put in that, that certainly will help him. But, you know, the, the biggest thing is, if you do switch defenses, everybody knows where the opponent is, which sounds like trivial. Uh, but if you do a matchup zone, there's areas that are open that they're going to try and pry and enter, and you've got to be able to cope with it. So uh, there are some similarities. I heard you talking earlier about how they change defenses, and both coaches certainly know one another. Uh, they go to the same barber, which is very helpful, <laughs> you know. A night cheap on the pocketbook, but uh, I think familiarity sometimes uh, is an advantage, and obviously sometimes you get a little, uh, you maybe not lazy, but figure he's going to do this, and you're not ready for the adjustment. Yeah, coach, and you mentioned you mentioned a little bit about Powell, but what does he kind of bring to the Seton Hall team? Uh, who, I'm sorry, Powell, Miles Powell. Oh well, I mean, obviously, you know, he's got great range, so he really stretches the defense, and by doing that, he helps the inside people. You know, a, a, a guy that's brand new to most of the players here, I think it'd be a big upside today is Torian Thompson. And the reason I say that, he's getting a little more comfortable with each game. And I think we've seen that with both teams defensively. I think, you know, the rust is off a little bit each game, practicing, understanding uh, the give and take of a coach and a staff with you, uh, how to force you to grow. Uh, so I think what Powell does, the concentration is so much on him, and he has really done a great job now driving the basketball. 
you know, his foot speed is much better than it was, and shedding the pounds certainly helped, and realizing how good you are, and uh, that there might be a future for you too sometimes drives you as well. But, you know, he, he's one of the great open shooters. Uh, he's now making some tough shots, but he's loosened up the defense with his ability to drive as well. And, and Coach, we want to thank you for joining us. Thank you for giving us your keys to the game. We're going to keep you on set for just a little bit. We know you have to remain impartial, so we're not going to ask you to pick a game. But Rich and I, we got our we, picks. We, we can pick. We I, can pick. Yeah, and I, I don't think I, we have to be no, impartial. I don't think no, so. no, no, I don't think we have to be I don't impartial. Think so. have to come on, make come on. Think so. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, we don't have to be impartial. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. That's it. Come Let's on. go, Pirates. Right. Let's go, Pirates. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Get loud. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Oh, I might keep this. Nice. Well, Coach, again, we want to thank you for joining us. And before we send it back to break, Let's get the band going. Debbie, Coach. strike up the band. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get that band playing. Let's go, Pirates. We want to thank everybody for tuning in to Morning Madness. We want you to stay tuned, though, on Twitter, Big E Shoot Around, as well as Fox Sports Go. And as well, we will have it, uh, of course, the pregame show on Fox starting at 1130. And then, of course, you can catch Coach Rav with Tim Brando and Andy Katz at 12 o'clock on Fox for the game. For Rich Behan, I'm Dagan Hughes saying thank you for Morning Madness and have a good rest of your day. Go Pirates.